Hello everyone, my name is Madeline Cook and today I'm here with MHA, which is a student peer-to-peer -peer mental health promotion program that focuses on mental health awareness, resiliency, and self-care. Our MHA group was first developed by Dr. Lanzi, an Honors College student in Juhi Agral, in partnership with the School of Public Health, Student Counseling Services, and the Honors College. Today we have guest speaker Valerie Hanks, who is a UAB artist in residence specializing in visual arts. For this event, she'll be discussing artistic methods to express emotion through nature. As I said, my name is Madeline Cook. I'm a sophomore majoring in biomedical engineering with minors in chemistry and neuroengineering. And I joined the Mental Health Ambassadors Program because I believe it's important to not only learn about mental health for ourselves, but to also share this knowledge with others in order to break down the stigma towards mental health. Hi everyone, my name is Destiny Cravens. I'm a rising junior majoring in psychology with a minor in social psychology. And the reason I became involved with MHA was because I had personal experience having someone I love be diagnosed with a mental illness. So mental health promotion has always been a really prevalent concern in my life. Hello everyone, I am also a rising junior. I am a biology major with a chemistry and psychology minor. And I joined the Mental Health Ambassadors Program because I also have someone in my family who suffers with a mental illness, and I saw this as a great program to bring mental health awareness to the UAB campus. Okay, are we ready? Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. I am also a student. And I am pursuing my Master's of Art in Art Therapy. For those of you who do not know what art therapy is, it combines active art making and the creative process in a psychotherapeutic relationship to engage the mind, body, and spirit and helps give visual expression for healing. I love it because it's not about a finished product. It's about the process of getting there and learning more about ourselves. So I'm very excited about introducing some ideas to you using nature and combining it with art. This is a wonderful way to achieve or maintain a positive mental state. What are the benefits of nature? Well, nature excursions help us focus on the beauty around us can help alleviate feelings of time pressure, mental stress, anxiety, and depression. It has a positive effect on mental health because spending time outside exposes us to fresh air, new scents of flowers and plants. It can boost our feelings of happiness and well-being. The positive effects of experiences in nature are that they really give us a positive mental health experience, helps reduce stress and depression. And there are many more positive effects of the nature experiences on human cognitive function and mental health. So you may ask, how do we get started? This amazing world that God has given us is full of wonderful surprises if we just take the time to get outside and notice the details. So I went on a morning walk. This is what I do. I go, I look at things, I pull things out, and I look at the details of what I have, the shapes of them, the textures. I notice the little curled ends of the blades of grass. Just getting outside and start your collecting will give you already a boost. Just breathe in the fresh air and enjoy. So nature combined with art. If I were to just put these things on a piece of paper, you may ask, what are, what are we gonna make out of these? What can you make out of this? Let's start simple and I'll give you an idea. So if you were to look at these items that I have shown, one way is just spell a word. Out of these items, I spelled the word love. What a great thing to even do with a friend. Just take some time and say, okay, 15 minutes, let's gather some materials, spell a word, take a photo of it with your phone, text it to a friend, maybe spell out a phrase. It is a great way to be able to use your creativity. 
What if you are not able to be outside? Well, you can bring nature inside just with a simple way of hanging up things. Take a piece of string, use a hole punch, add some photos to it. Be able to enjoy your collection in a very simple way that you can hang up in your room or in different places throughout your house. Use a hole punch to actually create patterns. Shine the light through it. Put different colored backgrounds behind it. Add a little bit of paint. When we focus on nature, we go back to our roots. We go back to a very simple connection. And there is so much art already existing in nature. Okay, so you may ask, if I find these things, normally we might would just walk right over them. We would see them on a path and think, eh, not very pretty. Well, what if you were to add paint to it? What if you were to add paint to this stick or to this dried piece of wood or to this dried pine branch? What if you were to think of some colors that made you feel good? that maybe evokes some memories from some experiences that you had. Here you go. Make yourself some items you can put in a jar, you can have around your house. It is a wonderful thing to be able to add color to maybe some things in nature that don't have color and you're able to still enjoy it. What about taking a leaf and a very simple idea of being able to preserve the feel and look of that leaf with a piece of paper over it and you can rub it with a chalk stick, you can rub it with charcoal or pencil lead and do your leaf rubbing. This is a fun and beautiful way to be able to preserve your leaf and turn it into a card or on a piece of paper and put a frame on it, give it to a friend. I turned mine into a card. I added a little greeting to it. You could put a personalization to it and write, write a friend. Go back to our snail mail of actually taking the time to incorporate your art that you've done with nature and give it away to a friend. Send it to someone else so they can also enjoy the art. Pull out those metallic markers and bring some shimmer and shine to some nature items. Here I brought out my gold paints, my metallic markers, and I added in some playful designs, some stripes, some swirls, circles. Um, just have fun. It is a great conversation piece. If you sit at a table, you put out all of your paints and markers and do this with maybe a friend and be able to see what you can come up with. A chalk paint pen is a great addition to be able to highlight some things as well. All right, so here's a question. Are you up for a challenge to maybe create a self-portrait from nature items? Have you even thought to do that? Well, here's an easy way to do it. You take a piece of paper, I lightly sketched out the shape of my jawline and my face and my neck and I found items in nature that could represent my hair and clothing, my eyes. As you see one of the little flowers that I chose, it was a tiny little bud and after I put it on the paper it kept opening up but I like the effect of that. So this is another fun way to be able to discover more about yourself and pay attention to details of you that you can find similarities with items in nature. Remember, it's not about the end result. Even if it looks crazy, it's just having fun and learning more about yourself. This is something that I would like to challenge each of you to think about doing. It's called an emotion wheel. A lot of times, and especially during the times that we're living in, we may have different feelings and not really understand the emotions behind those feelings. Take a plate, trace a circle, divide it out into sections, and actually label some emotions. I chose to go with eight different ones, 
and I placed them opposite of each other. So if you see joy, opposite of that is sadness. I also decided to choose colors that I felt represented these emotions. So we have anger, across from that we have fear, surprise, opposite of that anticipation, and then I've got distrust and I have trust. So I thought, you know, with this emotion wheel, what if I were to take it a step further? What if I were to find things in nature that represented these emotions? That would be a great way to be able to learn more about how I see things, what it means to me, and incorporate the things from my nature walk. So that's what I did. I chose flowers for the joy, a gumball for anger because I feel very balled up when I experience anger and there's some sharpness to possibly my, um, my emotions. Surprise, I found something that started out very narrow and just opened up like confetti or popping open something. And that left me with feeling that surprise. What about distrust? I found something. I wasn't sure if it was maybe a baby pine cone or part of a pine cone that just had died and was just going to go ahead and disintegrate, but I wasn't sure. I didn't know how it was going to feel when I picked it up. So that to me helped represent distrust. Sadness. I know when I experience the emotion sadness. Sometimes I just want to roll over and pull the covers over me. And that is what I see in this leaf that's curled up and rolled up. Fear. I chose a brown because many times it just leaves me stuck. And the bark helped me to think about the layers that I have to peel away in order to feel and experience and understand what's causing that fear. Anticipation. This is something I wasn't sure if I, if I blew on it, would it blow away? Would it stay intact? And so this item from nature helped me to think about anticipation. Trust. Bright, green, growing, healthy leaves. I can trust that there is a good, strong source of nutrition and strength behind it. I can glue these items onto my emotion wheel. I can keep it as a reference. I can also take a picture of it and save it on my phone. And this gives me a personal way to be able to think about and be mindful of my own emotions. Leaf painting. This is a fun way to be able to just pull out bottles of acrylic paint, um, poster paint, and just have fun. Add color to leaves, turn it over, make your print, peel it up, maybe take a marker, add some more details to it. And again, make a, make a card, make a bookmark, um, frame it. Maybe think about writing out a phrase about your nature walk or how you felt that day. Next is bark. Have you ever thought of watercoloring bark? Well, it really gives a great result. And as you can see, it blended the colors so well and it created a beautiful piece of art. There's also watercolors that are now metallic. I used regular watercolors on this, but if you want to add a little shine to it, grab you some of those metallic watercolor paints and enjoy and have fun. Be playful, connect with your inner child and play with creativity to explore making things like a butterfly out of items that you found or make a caterpillar or a grasshopper. Challenge a friend. Have fun and learn about yourself through these experiences in active art making in nature. 
Okay, so what about photography? Grab your phone. Go ahead, look closely at things in nature and start taking photos. Be observant of the textures, the shapes. Also, another thing, after taking the picture, play around with filters. Give your photo a title. I would like to open it up to see if anybody would like to give their thought on what they would title either of these photos shown on the screen. I would label the left picture as like rebirth. Very nice. Can you tell me a little bit more about that title and what you see? Yeah, so I basically just see like the green, which is sort of like, you know, through the spring, you're like rebirthing yourself and like becoming a new person or a new leaf. So I sort of, yeah, that represents what that means. Very nice. And you see in contrast to it, there's a brown leaf right below it. So it's very, very good. Uh, the other photo is just a close up of pine straw. And I just made it into a black and white. Next. We've got two different photos here. I'll open it up if anyone would like to give an idea on what you would title either of these photos. I would title the one on the left ostentatious because the little red leaf is kind of sticking out in comparison to the little green leaves and it's just kind of showing off. I love that. I love that. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next one. This was a fun one for me because I actually was looking at the patterns and colors of this rock. And not until I looked at it closer did I see the tiny little friend, the slug, who was holding on tightly to the side of the rock. What a nice little surprise. And I would have missed this had I been walking and not collecting or taking pictures. So it is a great way to be able to notice those little surprises out in nature that sadly we don't take the time to see. What about this one? This is a very interesting photo with a lot of possibilities for a title. Does anybody want to give their idea of what they would title this photo? I would call this one shipwrecked because I kind of see the wood there as like an old ship, like at the bottom of the sea. And then like the spider was could kind of be like the waves and like underground and like the leaf could be like a fish or something. Very creative. I like that. Very nice. This has a lot of elements in it. And um, I love that you're able to take it and actually see something that you could create a story out of or a poem. Thank you. Okay, here's another one. These two photos and I would love to open it up if anybody has an idea what they would title either of these. I would title the right picture like nourishment just because the water droplets on the leaves like really nourishes the leaves. Very, very good. And it is very interesting how the colors are beginning to emerge in the photo on the right and then you've got the ones on the left that their season is finished. So it is a great contrast. That's another thing you can do with your photos is find things that have contrasts or opposites. Um, have it as a topic of conversation with a friend. Here are two more. Uh, we've got some moss that's growing on the tree 
and we have rocks. Does anybody have any idea for a title for either of these? I would call the one on the right geometric because it just reminds me of like different little shapes coming together to make like an overall impression. Very nice. There are a lot of variations shown in that. Um, so thank you for that. And I also thought about community. It shows uh, everyone together. And um, so thank you, that's wonderful. Here is a photograph that I went ahead and just um, played around with some filters on it. Um, just have fun, you know, be creative convey experiences that you have in a very unique way. So what I would like to do is to challenge everyone. Begin today, add art to nature, go out, collect some things, figure out what you want to be able to say or what you want to be able to convey through it or just let the process happen and you will be on your way to a very fun and creative way to make a positive impact on your mental health. So at this time we have, I believe, a few minutes left and there may be some of you who have made some things from items in nature that you want to share or maybe you've made some things in the past that you would like to also share some ideas with each of us. Yes, so I actually made something yesterday. I went outside to my backyard and I found like this leaf. I thought it would be a nice um, sample to like do a leaf rubbing on. And so then here's my leaf rubbing. I don't know if you can tell. Yes. I had to like kind of use blues and like kind of go into like kind of a green gradient look. Very. It was nice. It was Very nice. Thank you for sharing that. And again, you could decide to add some creative words or phrases or a story to go along with that or a poem. And um, so that's great. I love the color that you've added to it as well. Anybody else? Um, this morning, I actually went out and I found a leaf and I just loved the overall shape of it. So I traced the outside of it and then added some like the inner details of like the stem and like the roots within it and just like watercolored and then added some color pencil for some yellow contrast. Oh, I love that. Very nice. I'm so glad that you guys were in, inspired to be able to do that. Um, did you find things that you maybe hadn't seen before by paying closer attention? Yes, I was able to find um, like different parts of nature that I hadn't noticed before. Like it's spring and so like naturally I gravitate towards like the green like but this time when I went and found this leaf I was able to also look at like the dark colors like the browns and like be inspired by that too and so I actually ended up using a leaf that had already fallen instead of a leaf that was like already on a tree and so that to me just like was different because it's like summer instead of like fall right now. Great great is there anybody else that would like to share? Um, I'm just going to reshow mine in case you couldn't see it earlier. Is that good? Yes, yes, I can see it really well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, um, sorry. Valerie, I, this is so fun. I, um, this is really noisy, but um, I've done leaf pounding um, where you, especially like with a fern, you turn it upside down and you hammer it and you can even do it into cloth and it leaves this imprint and you, you have to wash it a bunch of times with vinegar for it to stay, but it'll stay. And I don't know, like if you're feeling angry and want to make a lot of noise, that is a really fun thing to do. 
<laughs> oh, that sounds like a great way to be able to express some of that emotion and be able to end up with a wonderful impression left of something from nature. Thank you for sharing that, Elizabeth. Sure. Anyone else have something they'd like to share? I like cutting out bookmarks and being able to take my whole punch. I put a little ribbon at the top and bring things from nature, glue them on, um, be able to maybe write a word of encouragement on there. Um, you can also uh, take these things from nature and press them into um, a phone case for your phone, arrange them on that, and carry nature with you with your phone with a, one of those plastic covers. So uh, that is another fun way to be able to um, take nature and um, have it just with a more personal meaning. So I hope this inspires and encourages everyone to be able to use the free resources that we have available around us, realize that we will benefit from it in a positive way for our mental health, and you probably will have fun and enjoy yourself in the process. So thank you very much. Valerie, thank you so much for speaking today. And we just wanted to thank you for your beautiful presentation. I loved more uh, about learning about the art specifically in nature. And thank you so much for giving us all these unique ideas to start out our day with. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.